I was trying to shatter the rose. Roses don't shatter. Yeah, they do. Welcome to Distort the Show, where we distort time to do videos on YouTube and show you stuff in slow motion. The show where we distort time to show you the things you, you might, might otherwise, otherwise miss with the human, human eye. eye. I'm Mauricio. And I'm David. And I got a question for you. Yeah. What's cooler than cool? Well, if you're referring to the 2003 pop song, Hey Yeah, the answer is Ice Cold. And what's cooler than Ice Cold? I don't remember that part of the song. Liquid nitrogen! Oh, that super cold, super dangerous stuff. Yes, which is why we consulted an expert. Dr. Kiki. Who happens to be... A real life science doctor. Seems legit. Are you a pahud? Pahud. I got my food in my mouth. No, actually, in all honesty, Dr. Kiki Sanford has a PhD in... Molecular, cellular, and integrative physiology. I don't even know what that means. It's just hard to say. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> I have two sets of goggles. I have one for you here. So what exactly is liquid nitrogen? So nitrogen itself here on Earth is, uh, it makes up about 78% of our atmosphere. It's normally found as a gas under standard temperature and pressure when it's found in our atmosphere. Think about what that means. When you're breathing in air, it means you're taking in almost four times as much nitrogen as you are oxygen. But if you put it under high amounts of pressure, that will force it into being a liquid. When it becomes liquid, it's moving around a little bit less, the temperature drops. Down to, at the very least, negative 196 degrees Celsius or negative 321 degrees Fahrenheit, which means anything submerged in the liquid long enough will freeze completely solid and, well... Now, there is a less destructive and far more tastier use for liquid nitrogen. Prager is sous chef today. Yes, I am. what are we doing? We're making ice cream. Yeah, so basically, ice cream is, my understanding is mostly cream, sugar, and flavoring, like chocolate. Or strawberry. Or chocolate. Or strawberry. Oh yeah, or strawberries. <laughs> Not frozen. Not frozen. Frozen. What's half of one and a half? We didn't study math. No, but then I've got, I have one and three quarter cups sugar. What's half of that? There's one. We want one half of one and a half, wait, yeah, one half of one and a half, which is two thirds, right? Uh, three quarters. Three quarters. I am not. <laughs> You're good at opening this, though. And some people have asked how much liquid nitrogen, and the answer is as much as it as takes. As much as it takes, yeah. Uh, so what's really neat about, about making ice cream with uh, liquid nitrogen is the fact that it's boiling, it's aerating. The, uh, the ice cream mixture, uh -huh. so that by the time it's done, you have a really light and right. fluffy ice cream. Yeah, uh, this is great. Is it? It's creamy. Oh, that's good. about nitrogen though is that it comes from the fusing of different elements in the middle of supernovas. Supernova as in like an a, exploding, an exploding star. star. An exploded right? star. Yeah, so when stars go supernova, when they explode, they create an immense amount of pressure, they, uh, they condense down on themselves and then explode out and the gases get released and everything gets out and seeds the universe with so elements. What you're telling me is today we're gonna to be eating the stars. That's right. <laughs> I'm just gonna ask, because I know you're all wondering, if you dunked yourself, 
in liquid nitrogen for long enough, this, the same reason we put the strawberry in for a long time to let it go through, if you put, I'll just say cadaver makes it sound not as creepy. You may have heard of cryonics at this point. And this is essentially people with the belief that they can deep freeze their body to help fix ailments at a later time. But what if you don't wanna preserve the body? I think there's a company out of Sweden that is taking cadavers, people who have died, yeah. and because there's not a lot of space to bury people anymore, they're trying to be good to the earth. They freeze the bodies to like minus 19 Celsius slowly, mm -hmm. and then they flash freeze them, like dunk them in like liquid nitrogen. Till they're rock solid. Till they're rock solid. Mm -hmm. Then they pulverize them into a powder and so it's a powder of ice and all the protein. And then they freeze dry it to take the water out. And the water is about 70% of your oh, body. Wow. So eventually you're just this little pile of... Carbon. Calcium. Sulfur. Sodium. Stuff. Stuff. Wow. Hey, you guys want to see some more slow motion? <laughs> yeah. 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 Big thanks to Dr. Kiki Sanford for lending us her expertise on the show this week. She drops knowledge on a weekly basis over at This Week in Science. You can catch that at TWIS.org. And also thanks to NIMBY, that stands for Not In My Backyard, for lending us their playground in Oakland. And you can catch them at NIMBYspace.org. And special thanks to Bill Kiley for his custom music this week. You can check out his albums over at Bandcamp at BillKiley.Bandcamp.com. And also, please remember to subscribe to our show here on YouTube. We'd greatly appreciate it to get your weekly dose of distort. Mm -hmm. And comment below, answer one of life's greatest questions, chocolate or strawberry. I'm David Prager. I'm Mauricio Balvanera, and we'll see you next week. Oh, my God.